It's time for a brand new segment. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. We cover all road-based stories, and because you don't have your licence, I'll take it from Would here. Would you mind? <laughs> Can this count towards my logbook? <laughs> so, where, where should we start? Drivers escaped injury after his Holden four-wheel drive crashed into the Victor Harbour Hospital this morning. Mm. Thank God he crashed right into the emergency entrance. <laughs> <laughs> that is a relief. A team of power mechanics rushed <laughs> to his aid. He will be fine. Yeah. Sadly not the only crash we've seen on the roads. A driver has told Seven News how muddy shoes caused his car to plough through a brick wall at the Cudley Creek Caravan Park. Mm. Not the Cudley Creek Caravan Park. <laughs> well, thankfully the driver's OK. He says his shoes got muddy in the rain and his foot slipped off the brake and onto the accelerator. Oh, there's a big bang. Oh, what the hell am I here? The car is a write-off, he says. He also says he relies on it to get to 10-pin bowling twice a week. Hopefully his bowling shoes aren't muddy. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, he's a big bowling fan. When he crashed, he, he, he knocked down seven buildings, so they then let him go back and knock down the rest, yeah, which, was, which, was, which was lovely. Well, lovely. let's keep driving yeah. and head to South Australia. SA has its fair share of distracted drivers. And according to Amy, we're the rear-ender state. <laughs> I wouldn't put that on the license plate. No. Yeah, the slightly too cuddly caravan park. Yeah. Um, staying on our roads, and this driver caused concern. Is this driver drunk on the phone or out of control? No, she's just eight years old. Oh. Somehow got her license before term. That is amazing. <laughs> Let's hear more. The young driver was behind the wheel for almost 30 minutes, but was eventually found safe by police with a frappuccino in hand. <laughs> I feel like me and this eight-year-old would get along. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> good news, she has replaced Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, <laughs> so well, thankfully, there's always public transport. A Southport bus driver has kept passengers waiting after he stopped mid-shift for a coffee. <laughs> Imagine that, you're on the bus and it pulls in, oh, we've been stopped here for a while, and then you look over and the driver's having a frappuccino. And it's I love how you started that with, imagine you're on the bus. That's just your life. <laughs> no, I have to say, imagine you're on the bus, because I know you've never been on public transport in your life. It's... That's not true. I've been on the side of a bus before. <laughs> Imagine you're in a privately chartered helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head to actually staying on the roadside. The tight-knit Brisbane community is reeling tonight following the sudden removal of its favourite red post box. A big post box story. Yeah, thankfully she's come dressed as the post box. So <laughs> that is good to see. Work, yes, the well, reporter Abby Guerin was being a little dramatic about this story. Well, it might not look like much, but this right here is the scene of a violent crime. <laughs> 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 Seriously, I think Abby was being slightly dramatic. A much-loved Paddington mailbox mercilessly uprooted from its long-standing home after years faithfully serving the local community. Okay. It's a postbox, not a war hero. <laughs> 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 they cornered it off with um, packaging tape. So oh, do they really? <laughs> what was so special about this post box? Tim Ryan, the man behind the masterpiece, has been dressing it up since he moved to the street in 2014. Mr Bunny, to um, <laughs> celebrations of State of Origin in particular, we're big um, Maroon supporters, to Halloween has been uh, a big one, Australia Day. OK. <laughs> I think Australia Day is a little bit lacking compared to the others. Yeah. For Anzac Day, he actually um, ironically played the last post, so that was amazing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that, that is three demerit points, and that was...